Good morning, y'all, y buenos dias. So for today's video, I wanted to talk about what my parenting style is. And so I get this question really often, just asking like, so what what exact parenting style do you follow? You know, what, what rules do you have? And so I kind of wanted to talk about that today. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. All right, so first and foremost, I would say that my parenting style is more intuitive, intentional parenting. And that is just because it encompasses so many different parenting styles that I really appreciate and learned a lot from. I've read tons of books from different kinds of parenting styles and what I do is I select those themes and ideas that I really enjoy from those parenting styles and apply them to my life with my kids. And I think that that is honestly one of the most simple and most like logical ways of parenting because not everything is going to work for you and your child. And I think that that's something that a lot of parents will kind of hone in on because they will read a book, let's say any variety of parenting style, and then they try to follow that to the T, right? And then when certain things fail them or when certain things don't go exactly how they want, they're, they're either A, feel like the whole thing doesn't work and they need to start from scratch and need to go somewhere else or they blame themselves for it not working or blame their children for it not working when in reality we're all human beings and every single one of us works very differently. We're all triggered by different things as children and as adults and so there are certain things that just will not work for one kid and will totally work for another kid even within the same family and so I think that by reading up on different kinds of parenting styles and then applying those that best fit your family, it suits you better. I mean, it's literally like tailored parenting. Like you figure out todo lo que te gusta and disregard lo que no te gusta and then just apply that, right? Um, and that's how everything should be, right? Like with uh, pretty much anything that you want, you should take what you do enjoy, take what does work and disregard what doesn't and move forward. Different styles that I have learned a lot from are the Montessori parenting style, which is more of an educational like style, but it applies a lot to parenting too. Um, Rye style parenting, and I'll link a bunch of stuff down below so that y'all can check out because it would take me forever to like go in depth about each kind of parenting style. Uh, but attachment parenting, gentle parenting, all of these different styles have helped me mold into the parent that I want to be. And so let's say for example, something that they talk a lot about in like attachment parenting and gentle parenting is whenever your child is having a moment, whenever they're having a tantrum, you need to hold them and you need to basically express your love for them. And with a lot of children, like children that I know, that works beautifully and the child just like melts in and just wants to, you know, be held and whatever. Luna does not want that. Like Luna, if she's having a moment, I'm like, quiero un abrazo? And she's like, no. And I'm like, okay, yo estoy aquí, like I'm here, you know, whatever. And at first I felt like, wow, like I suck at this. Why is this not working for me? And it's Luna, doesn't want that when she's having a tantrum. That's fine, that's okay. And so I give her her space. She's like, yo quiero sentarme aquí. And I'm like, okay, I'm over here. Y cuando quiere un abrazo, yo estar aquí. You know, like I'll, I'll wait over here. And so just by knowing these things that you're not a failure if certain things just don't go how a book tells you it's gonna go because that's that's how parenting is. You can read up on all of the things and then your child may just not be in tune with that idea and it's not gonna work. And I think that that's why, just like with a lot of things in life, we gotta keep learning and we gotta keep reading up on different ideas and different ways that we can do things because if we get so fixated on one idea or on one path, then I think that that's kind of destructive, not only to the process and the progress that we're trying to make, but also in our own psyche. Like we keep feeling like, man, like I suck at this, I'm a failure as a parent, or what's wrong with my kid? Why is my kid not doing what I want him to do? And so 
we just have to learn. We have to learn about different techniques, different ways of handling situations. And I think that that's why I really enjoy this community because I get to hear what y'all do. You know, on Instagram, I so, so appreciate like the different ideas and different um, ways of problem solving that y'all have given me. And I think that A, we definitely, definitely should be learning and reading books because a lot of these are written by child psychologists so we're able to understand like the mind of our children but I think that also B, we should talk with other parents, right? Because like there's only so much reading you could do about how to like calmly handle the situation. But if you are fed up, if you're so done with the day, then a lot of that stuff isn't gonna register, right? Like. Just like with your children, like if they're having a tantrum and they're fed up and they're hungry and they're whatever, like they're not gonna really be this calm, gentle child that you want them to be. The same works for us. And so by hearing other parents, by understanding where they're coming from, we're able to, first of all, empathize with them, but also learn from their mistakes. And so by creating a community of parents around you, I think is critical. I live in a place where there's not a lot of people. And so a lot of my community is you guys um, that we get to talk and chat on Instagram and be like, hey, dude, like I had a really rough day and I did this and my kid get, did this and whatever. And, but it's the end of the day, but it's cool, you know, whatever, tomorrow's a new day. And just, just to, like work with each other and learn from the different techniques that all of us have because we all have something to bring to the table y'all and in a more traditional setting that's how it used to be it was a group of people that was raising all of the children simultaneous simu oh my god how do you say that word simultaneous at the same time they were all raising the kids at the same time and so by raising all of the kids at the same time it was so much more fluid right not everyone had to be like up here all of the time because everybody was like right here all the time and so i think that i don't fixate myself on one like single parenting style i kind of like dabble in all of the parenting styles so that that way i can be more balanced and more rounded out um there's a lot of things that i'm very firm about that would be outside of the realms of what would traditionally be seen as gentle parenting like i'm a lot more stern with certain things and a lot more lenient with other things and that's just how it is like you need to just find what what certain values you want to instill in your children and what are the utmost important values and what are other things that you kind of let slide that's why i label myself with uh intuitive and intentional parenting so a couple of the ideas that I follow for my parenting style are focus on the bond. Focus on the bond that you are cultivating with you and your child and that should be the center point is that bond and that unconditional love because that's what our kids need from us is unconditional love and so if you focus on that I think that everything else you kind of just build upon but that is like my center point. My next thing is to validate feelings without judgment. And sometimes that can be really difficult, especially when from the adult perspective, the thing that they're complaining about or having a fit about seems totally and utterly ridiculous, but we have to validate those feelings because all feelings are valid, but not all actions are okay. And so just that is another barrier, another level that I build upon. And so the next is to have firm but logical boundaries and consequences. So by giving your kids the liberty to do certain things, but also keeping a strong and secure boundary, having these limits set that they understand what they can and can't do actually perpetuates their understanding of the world. They don't feel like they're free falling through the world. They understand what their limits are. And then by giving them consequences that actually make sense, I'm gonna do a whole video on um, positive discipline. You guys have requested that a lot and I'll get more in depth when I make that video. But just by giving logical consequences and not something just off the wall, they're able to uh, feel more secure and feel more in line with what the world and with, with the world and like what's going on with it. In. And my last, I don't even know, tip uh, about like point i don't i don't know where i was going with this don't let other people's unsolicited advice on parenting affect you and so i have certain things that i do as a parent uh, within my parenting style that for maybe more traditional parenting would be seen as unnecessary or as 
um, whatever it is that they may see it like and to me that doesn't affect me. I'm parenting my child the way that I want to raise them and so by doing and knowing what I'm doing and feeling like in tune with what I'm doing, I'm gonna be a lot less likely to bend or feel bad because of whatever someone else is telling me. Like, oh, you need to spank your kid because they're gonna walk all over you. Like, I'm like one ear out the other. Like, I'm not listening to any sort of advice like that. I'm parenting my child from a point of love and compassion and that's that's me that's how i'm gonna do it and so don't let anybody's like i said unsolicited advice affect you and your mental on how you're parenting but that is it for today's video that's a little bit about my parenting style and my parenting philosophy i'd say um if you guys have any comments or questions head over to my instagram and i'll be answering all the questions there for watching and i'll talk to you later